What's going on guys? Cinecreep here back on the Alex Leba channel. We're gonna be doing a movie night video. A video that I don't I haven't seen on Leba's channel in forever. Leba, Leba, cheer up. This is this is a video about a movie that you really like that I've never seen. It's a movie you like, you gotta cheer up, smile. Leba. What? Please, if you cheer up about doing this video, I will go out right now and I will get you some McDonald's. Really? Yes, I, I will I will go wherever I have to, wherever the nearest McDonald's is, and I will let you pick out five things on the well, menu. Hey, 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 stop rambling. We got a movie to watch and a movie to talk about. The movie we're going to be talking about tonight and watching is called The Man From Earth. You've probably never even heard of it. It's probably one of my favorite movies now. I, I really like it. And when I heard of the concept, I, I instantly thought, like, this definitely sounds like a movie that, like, I would really enjoy. And I watched it and I really enjoyed it. And let's talk about the copy you have it signed. The Blu-ray I got is autographed by the whole cast. Well, not, well, not the whole cast. The director and some of the um, characters in the movie. Not the main character, which I would love if it was autographed by him. And not Tony Todd, which is kind of sad. But do you know anything about this movie? I don't. I was just going to say... Tell us something about the movie, because I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. Well, the whole damn thing takes place in one room. And I know that's your favorite. Tape. Carnage. Carnage. The movie is about a guy who is a history professor, and uh, like I said, the whole movie takes place in one, you know, the, the, this one house, one location, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this guy, he's, you know, the movie begins and he's packing up, he's leaving, moving on to another life, and then his friends and colleagues, you know, all come in like, like three cars, are like, where are you going, bro brother? Like, right when he's about to leave. Why are you leaving? Like, come on, tell us. You know, that sort of thing. And he's like, there is something I'm tempted to tell you, I think. I've never done this before, and I wonder how it would pan out. And then he tells a long story. So I'm in for a story time, basically. Oh, no. And the movie's actually written by um, the, a man named Jerome Bigsby, who's actually one of the original writers of the uh, original Star Trek series and uh, the Twilight Zone. He died in 98. He came up with the idea for this movie in the 1940s. Okay. And uh, he finally wrote it when he was, like, super old. And then he, like, finished it on his deathbed. Seven years later, they made it into a movie. Super low-budget movie. The Man from Earth. He made a really, really good dialogue-driven movie. The presentation is a little eh. On a surface level, it seems like shit. It really does. And watching it, it's like TV-quality actors. If you don't give it a chance, you might just turn it off within the first five minutes because it seems like a little cheesy in its presentation. Like, there's nothing really to the cinematography, but the movie's so incredibly well-written and it's so dialogue-based anyway that cheesiness from the performances you can kind of overlook that. It's one of the best written movies ever, I think. It's worth a watch. It's worth watching more than once, even. It's a really cool story to watch unfold. Pretty much the whole movie is just people in a room talking, and there aren't that many movies that have successfully pulled that off. I'm excited to watch it. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna give you our thoughts after the movie. I don't know if you want to film anything during the movie. Well, of course, I'll film a little bit. I'll film a little bit, I, but... Actually, I don't know. You know we what? don't have to. Actually, you know what? I will. He will. Because, <laughs> because... I hate movie night videos to where it just immediately cuts to after the movie, you know? It's right. like, that's what people want. People want the commentary. Why does this Blu-ray look bad? Interesting story about the movie. First of all, turn the subtitles on. Second of all, the movie was um, supposed to be filmed with like really good, like I think 35 millimeter cameras or something like that, but then they uh, something happened to where they couldn't get them. So then they were they had to film the movie on DV cameras. It looks like a DVD. I've been deceived, Leba. I've been deceived. I'm sitting here expecting a Blu-ray, a 1080p disc, a blue rizzle. Yeah. And what I'm getting here is a uh, is a very low quality DVD, but. Let's watch the movie, because it looks like things are going on I should pay attention to, possibly. So the movie was shot with uh, crappy DV cameras. It really sucks, because like the script of the movie is so good. With, like The camera quality, acting, directing is basic. But the script, in my opinion, is one of the best scripts ever written. So it's kind of a mixed bag with this movie. And if the camera, acting, directing, and all that other stuff would have been so much better, then, then this could be like one of the best movies ever made. He kind of looks like a young uh, De Niro from Taxi Driver, but kind of not at the same time. 
This is one of the worst looking Blu-rays I've ever seen in my life. I told you, it's because of the cameras. Little Monsters looks better on Blu-ray, and that's not even a good Blu-ray. Yeah, it's funny, because like on the back of this Blu-ray, there's a long paragraph about how hard they tried on the transfer and trying to make it look the best they could. <laughs> really? So like, before this, before this Blu-ray came out, it looked a million times worse. You could shoot a better movie on a Blackberry cell phone. Yeah, probably. It's looking a better looking movie. It's probably a really good movie. All people had like much worse quality than this in the freaking 90s and stuff like that with VHS, so quit your crying. Well, maybe if you want to time travel back then? No. To watch movies in like... Actually... More or less really quality cool. than this. Anyway, let's pay attention to the movie. They're all trying to like get it out of like, you know, why are you leaving, bro? John, what is up? Huh? Are you on America's Most Wanted? We won't turn you in. If I were him, I would have just straight up left. These people are literally nothing oh, in his overall Johnny life. Walker Green. Johnny Walker Green. <laughs> And you know they made it in green. Uh, I really like this guy. This is the best character in the movie aside from the main character. Yes, better than Tony Todd. Sorry, brother. Wait, wait, can we turn the lights off now? No. Why? Because we're watching a movie. Late at night. It's like almost 1 a.m. Well, you, they have to see us. I feel like the, um, the really low quality of the movie kind of adds to the realism to it. Kind of like a uh, uh, tape. That movie looked like garbage, but like it felt, you felt more in the moment. I'm finding it pretty interesting so far. Good dialogue. At first when it started, I thought it was like cheesy, looked a lot like a, you know, made for TV type of movie. Yeah. But uh, as we're watching, it's getting interesting. Very good dialogue. I feel like I've seen some better movies though with the similar you know, in one room kind of thing, like tape, for example. We forgot to mention 12 Angry Men. 12 Angry Men, yes. Josh, could you finish the video, please? I'm so tired. Leva, your feet smell. Holy shit. Can you, can you cover him up under the blanket just for now? And next question. No, come on. Oh, come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Oh. Holy what? shit! What? What are you doing? Cleveland is a tough neighborhood, okay? We're not in Cleveland, we're outside of Cleveland. Yeah, well we're close enough. It's the most dangerous city in the world. Did you look that up? Yeah. Oh shit. Anyway, watch this movie. The most epic reveal in any movie is coming up. <sighs> it was a good movie. Uh, it kind of feels like a TV movie, besides some parts. The dialogue is really good. It's interesting. It was good for what it was. It has a short runtime. If you want some really good dialogue, I'd check it out. It's probably one of those movies I only watch one time. It would have been so much better if there was better talent involved with making it. Go to bed, Leva. This was fun. This was a fun video, even though it's probably really boring after you edit it and stuff. Like I said earlier, the movie is incredibly well written. A lot of the dialogue is just so like thought-provoking in so many different ways. There's a lot to it, basically. You could really tell that it's a, a super smart person who wrote it, who like knows like a lot about the world. Definitely a movie that makes you think about a lot of uh, different subjects and a lot of uh, different ways. There's really not really a point to own it on Blu-ray. Except actually, yeah, there is. That's a lie. There's a lot of special features. There's um, a, a feature-length documentary. It's an hour and a half that I watched. It's pretty good. You know, like there's good special features. If you love the movie, I'd recommend the Blu-ray. But other than that, I don't know. Watch it any way you want. The movie's literally 240p. So whatever, just watch in 240p, I don't give a shit. But make sure you're watching this video in 4K. It's so freaking sad that, that this YouTube video has better quality than this entire movie. Like in terms of video quality. So if you shot the movie with this camera, it'd be better than this. Yeah. Damn. Literally, that's so sad. <sighs> Alright, Leva needs some sleep. <sighs> Let me close off this video for him. I don't feel like too much happens and very predictable ending. I mean, even though it tries to twist a little bit, it's still very predictable. It's alright for me. I'd give it like a 3 out of 5. Thank you guys for watching this video. Follow Leva on what? What can they follow you on? This YouTube channel. And Instagram and Twitter at Lebonimus and Snapchat at Leba with 5 A's. Leva's asleep right now. Like, this dude's passed out sleeping. He's sleeping with the movie, actually. Right next to him.
So he really loves this movie. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I feel like we should have filmed this when he wasn't, you know, fresh off of a five and a half hour drive. Goodbye.